Good morning, South Amboy Elementary School. It is our final Mindful Monday in March. This is the last Monday of March. I can't believe it. When we see each other again, it's going to be April already. But actually, we won't see each other for two weeks because we are going on spring break, my friends. You get some uh, about a little over a week off from school. So I hope you use that as a chance to relax and refocus and continue being mindful. So I think I've shared with you that one of the things that helps me relax and, and focus and be more mindful is the ocean. So if you can see behind me there, one and two, I have pictures of ocean waves that I took when I took a trip to Hawaii with my mom um, several years ago. And I pulled one of those pictures down because normally there's three, um, but I wanted to show you how amazing is that? That wave crashing onto that rock and that beautiful blue ocean water. How, do, how can you not be relaxed when you see that? So it goes right along with our breath this week, which is called the wave breath. So if you think of those ocean waves going up and down, up and down, you're going to imagine your body doing that, going up and down as we inhale and exhale. And I actually am practicing my wave breath by keeping my hand on my body as the air is coming in and then as it goes back out because that's helping me to feel where that air is going and concentrate on that breath. So I would like for you to try it that way too because I think that'll help you understand better how this breath actually works. And of course, because it's the uh, wave breath and I love the ocean so much, I definitely need to have some ocean sounds. What do you think? Absolutely. All right, my friends, here comes the ocean. I so hope you can hear that because I hear it beautifully. I'm hoping that you can hear it too. So with the wave breath, we're still going to be comfortable. The hand is going to start up here on your chest because that's the first place the air goes. And then you're going to slide your hand down and it's going to go a little bit in between up here in your belly and then slide all the way down to your belly. Because if you're taking a true, full, deep breath, your belly should fill up with air, not just up here. If you just breathe up here, you haven't taken a full deep breath. And I know that's hard for some people. So that's why I'm having you put your hand here. So you can start up top. And then you're going to make your way down to feel that wave. And then as we exhale, you move your hand back up and you feel the wave. Okay? So that's why it's called the wave breath. It just helps you focus on the air moving into your body and then coming out. All right? So as we have that ocean wave behind us, we're comfortable. And we're going to close our eyes. I want everybody to close their eyes, even the grown-ups, because the best way for you to be focused and to be mindful is to turn off the rest of the world. So the only thing I want you thinking about is my voice and your breath. That's the most important things right now. Okay, my friends? So close those eyes. Trust me, it's going to help you feel good. Close those eyes. And we're going to breathe in. And as we breathe in, we're going to slide our hand down and feel the air coming into our body. Okay? Let's do this. Okay, so my hand starts up here, up near my neck. That's where the air goes first, and then it makes its way down my body. I stop at my belly, and then when I exhale, I bring my hand back up like the waves of the ocean. Let's try it again. Are you feeling your chest move and then your middle part move and then your belly move? Your belly should stick out as you're breathing in. That means you're really taking a good inhale. Okay. Let's try two more times. You're doing a great job. Hand up here. Close eyes. Relax. And inhale.
Last one, friends. So that's a hard one. I'm not going to lie to you. That is a very hard one to do because it's forcing us to really feel where that air is going. But it's also great to practice it because it really helps you to understand what's happening with your body. Okay? So that's called the wave breath. All right. As much as I hate doing it, i got to stop the ocean sounds because we need to talk. All right. Oh, but that was nice, wasn't it? The other thing I thought of that I've been wanting to mention to you is I realized that when I play my video back, you can't hear me inhaling and sometimes you can hear me exhaling. But I want you to know when you see my nose go like this, see my nostrils close up, you know that I'm taking that big inhale. But for some reason, the microphone doesn't pick it up. I'm not breathing loud enough, I guess. So I just wanted to mention that to you. Anyway. Let's talk about a word. That word is intelligent. What does intelligent mean? Hmm. Maybe you're thinking, Miss Macelle, it means smart. Maybe you're thinking, Miss Macelle, it means you get good grades on your report card. Maybe it means you do really good on all your tests in school. Smart could be all of those things, but I need for you to understand that intelligent and you can be intelligent about so many different things. It's not just being good at school and doing your schoolwork, your math and your reading and your writing. We all are intelligent about lots of different things. If you're good at playing a sport, you have intelligence in that sport. And I guarantee you probably have more intelligence than Mrs. Masella does. She's not so great at playing sports. I like watching them. Not really so much, not so good at playing. So you can have intelligence about that. Here's another one. Mrs. Masella loves, loves, loves music. All kinds. I do not have one musical bone in my body. But some of you do. Some of you play an instrument now, and if you don't play one yet, maybe you're going to play one because you have musical intelligence. I can enjoy music, but I'm not intelligent enough to play music because I don't have that type of intelligence. So you can have intelligence about schoolwork. You can have intelligence about something physical like a sport. You can have intelligence about making music, creating beautiful artwork, Cooking, how many of you cook? I do have intelligence when it comes to cooking, I have to say, I'm pretty good at that. So intelligence comes in all different forms and that's what I wanted to stress to you this week is that some of you may feel a little bit sad when you hear um, someone saying, oh, he's so intelligent, she's so intelligent and you wish that that were true about you. I'm here to tell you it is, it is true about you. You are intelligent. And maybe you just haven't thought about the ways that you are intelligent. And we have many ways that we're intelligent. So I want you to just stop and think for a minute. Stop right here. I'm going to pause. And I want you to think of some of the things that you're good at. Because anything that you're good at, that means you have that intelligence. So think about it. Maybe you're great at making new friends. Maybe you're kind to people. Guess what? That's intelligence. That means you have intelligence about being social and being friendly. Not everybody has that. So think about those things that you do well. And remember that we are all intelligent in our own way and usually in multiple ways. So that's our positive statement for this week, my friends. I am intelligent. I'll say it one more time. I am intelligent. And I want you to say it with me this time. I am intelligent. And think about, really put it in your mind because I want you to feel good about yourself. Think about the specific things that you have intelligence with. Okay, I mentioned I'm intelligent at cooking, but not intelligent with, with making music. 
Okay, so there's things we're good at and things we're not so good at. So think about all those things that you're good at, and that means that you're intelligent about those things. And what you're intelligent about is going to be very different than the person sitting next to you right now. Okay, my friends? But be proud of who you are, and the fact that you can do different things is a wonderful, wonderful thing. If we all knew how to do the same exact thing the same exact way, man, this would be a really boring place. I love that there are people who know how to make music because I don't. But I love music. And imagine if everybody was like me and didn't know how to make it. Wow, that would be sad if we didn't have any music. So my friends, have a wonderful week. Remember that I am intelligent and think about those different ways. And remember that I won't see you uh, for two weeks because next Monday we will not be in school. We will be on spring break. Enjoy your time off and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye.